everybody. It's Diana from Move North Homestead. It's been an even longer while. Um, I've had some health issues and so I've been kind of quiet. Um, I think I'm gonna come back to making some videos and maybe describe what I'm doing naturally to address these health issues. Now, um, the primary reason for making this video is to shout out a warning. If you see one of these, kill it. They are invasive. And after doing some research, I saw one the other day and my first thought was snake. My heart just jumped up into my throat. Um, then I realized, oh my God, it's a worm. And I thought, boy, my soul must be healthy. That's a big worm. I got excited. And since then I have found five or six more. And I went down a rabbit hole and I did some digging and I did some research. Butch and Trevor kept calling it a night crawler. It is not a night crawler. It's called a jumping worm and they are big and they are fat. They can grow, they say eight to 10 inches long, but I have had one at least a foot, at least from my arm to my hand. And I know I'm short and I know I'm small, but it was big, I'm just saying. Not a fish story, um, but I want to show you what we have here um, so that you can kill them. Um, they are very damaging to the environment. Let me put this down for a minute. Um, they're bad for the ecosystem. They're bad for regular worms. All it takes is one. All it takes is for you to have one they self procreate like all worms get that straightened up there they cannot survive winters um but they make little um cocoon sacks with their babies so the adults will not survive winter but the babies will come out in, with a vengeance. Um, so far, conservationists, and the agriculture, and the US Forestry Service, from what I've seen, like I said, I went down a rabbit hole, they have not figured out how to eradicate them. If you think of your compost or your garden soil, it's all nice and spongy. Um, You've got your leaf litter in the forests. These will eat everything to the point that the soil is robbed of all of its nutrients and your plants cannot survive. Same with the forests and it's interrupting the ecosystem so the normal worms and bacterias and things like that have no place to go. It's spreading across the United States. So please, if you see one of these, I'm fixing to show it to you, kill it. You can kill it by putting it in alcohol. You can put it in a Ziploc bag and leave it out in the sun and it will die. Um, let's... <laughs> Let me go for another cliche. Let's slow the spread. You ready? Boy, he's a big boy. Or girl, or it. Oh, it's called a jumping worm. Let me give you a close up here. It looks like a snake. Now I'm gonna put him back in the container that I had him in, which is my harvesting bucket. 
Um, but I'm gonna, I had him in some water so he didn't dry up until I could show you. And then I'll show you some things. Give me one second. Okay, how you can identify them is when you touch them, when they're not like half drowned. This area right here, in a normal worm, it is raised. I don't even know what it's called. I'm not gonna pretend to call. What I'm saying is this is completely smooth. But normally, see how it's jumping around? Hang on, let me zoom back out. Let me leave him alone for a second. I've moved him so I can get a little bit more footage and he didn't drown yet. Um, they live on top of the soil. You'll generally find them on the surface after a rainstorm. That's where I have found the last five or six. And unfortunately, I didn't know what they were, so I moved them to my raised beds. So now I have to go in search of, in my raised bed, to find the ones that I put in there. Hopefully they will, I did hugel culture, so hopefully they will go down and drop through the bottom and continue on their little merry way and not eat my garden. But, he's trying to get away, he's down in there. When you first touch them, when you find them, when you first touch them, they jump all around. Do your research, do your part, Let's get these things out of our gardening community. As most of y'all know, I have been on uh, several of your lives, watching your videos, commenting. I haven't left completely. Um, like I said, I'll start doing some more videos. My hard part is the fact that Butch and Trevor do not want to be videoed. They don't want to be in the videos. And I've been requiring a lot of help recently. On a good note, harvested our first turnip today. Look at the size of that baby. Nice. So I will be back. I am back. I'll start doing some more videos. I'll do what I can. Hopefully I can talk Butch and Trevor into participating some. <coughs> Trevor is out of the Marine Corps now. Um, still waiting on his disability decision. Um, he did purchase a piece of property right up the road from us uh, with a hunting cabin on it. So we've been up there working on that. The inside is amazing. I wanna give you guys a tour. The outside has needed some work and we've been working on that really hard. Um, it would have made some excellent video content, but they didn't wanna be in it and I'm not doing it all by myself. So therefore I have to had to respect their wishes, but I will give you a tour. Um, we're meeting with the plumber on Monday uh, we've already done all the electric work, put up most of the siding, shored up a lot of the porch. I can't wait to show you. Anyway, everybody, share this video. It's important to the gardening community. Um, these worms aren't going anywhere, they're spreading. And from what I've gathered, uh, it, they were just coming into Kansas and Missouri in April of this year. And I've already got them. So, I believe they've been found in 23 of the 50 states. That was the last that I heard. He's trying really hard to hide in that dirt, but there's no escape from this bucket.
and the old man is still with us. He goes Tuesday to get his summer cut. And as always, I leave you with a little piece of chocolate.